In this video, I'm looking at a Greer challenge. I'm looking at the file upload cross site scripting challenge in specific. In order to do this challenge, all you need to do is go to the Greer site, which I'll link in the description. Open up an instance of this sandbox, which allows you to interact with the site safely in your browser. Once you have this open, uh, what you're going to do is sign up for uh, this, you know, quote unquote site. Uh, you can use fake credentials for it. I'll just do test for the username and test for the password. Uh, don't save. And once your account's created, you can go back to home. Uh, you can go to click upload since this is a file upload XSS challenge. Obviously, that's what we're going to do. Uh, Grayer only takes uh, certain kinds of files, and one of them is HTML files. So we'll be able to upload an HTML file directly. In order to do that, all we have to do is just open up an instance of Notepad and we'll make our own HTML file. Uh, to do this, just open Notepad like I said. Once you have it open, just type in Notepad script. And then in script, we'll do just you know a simple um, command or a simple execution of code. We'll just do alert. Uh, we'll say gotcha. And we'll close that script tag. Once we're done with that, to save, we just have to save our Notepad file and save it as, I don't know, anything. Just, uh, I guess you could save it as payload.html. As you see, I've already saved on the same name, but I'll resave and replace it. Uh, once that's done, just close out of Notepad, and we want to upload our file now. So once you find your file, upload it, click Upload, and it should be accessible at this link. And we're going to open this link in a new tab. As you can see, we uploaded a file, and since the file is an HTML document, uh, it was executed on the site, and the script inside of it that created this alert was executed due to that. Uh, and apart from that, there's really not too much else to this flag or to this challenge. I guess I'd say that one of the vulnerabilities to have here is that uh, there's no kind of sanitization or any kind of uh, script that looks over the actual files to check to see you know, what's in them or any kind of sanitization for if scripts could execute or not on uh, the link that it gives you for this site. But I mean, apart from that, uh, you know, this is a walkthrough and I hope that it was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good one.